Okay, so let's add some lower thirds here. Niles, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? All right, I can hear you. I can hear you good, and I can. The video looks clean. I think we got okay. a good connection. All right, sounds good. All right, awesome. So, listen, man. Welcome to Auto Transport Intel. Um, you are Niles. Your name is on the screen. You've got a product called Gopher. We're going to talk about the entomology and meaning of the name in a minute, but please tell us more about Gopher Auto Carrier Software. All right, so Gopher Auto Carrier Software is a TMS solution that essentially helps companies that, whether they do POV movements or OEM movements, help grow their company by managing all parts of their company from uh, creating orders to dispatching to customer service and automating that to the point to where when you do something, it's just like ordering something off Amazon. They know when it's picked up, they know when it's delivered, they get their photos. And that's the nutshell of the company, but there's so many different features and um, sets that we can do. So uh, best way to think of it, the main core competency of what we do is EDI connections with manufacturers. Right. Okay. So, and, and and within that, okay. So there's a lot there. So to unpack that, <laughs> there is, and to unpack that, um, we're gonna we are also we're gonna see some screenshots after mm -hmm. we do some more describing of what the auto auto carrier software is and what makes yours special. I think you were telling me is that I mean you're a customization shop, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we started off at we've been in the freight industry since the beginning, and then about 20 years ago, a client approached us hey, we want to start moving cars. And so we started to develop the software and, and that progressed over the many years. And then now, you know, in the last five, six years, we started to develop Gopher. And that's one of the biggest things for us is working with carriers to make a software that works for carriers. Right. And so, okay. And um, Gopher, you've, I mean, you're searchable. I, you're, you're online. I saw your domain. I don't know when it was, but I mean, you're you're there. Your product. How long has Gopher been around? Gopher has been around on the market for about three years, a um, little bit more than that. But uh, it started development about five six years ago. Okay, and so then let's say I'm a let's say I'm just randomly searching around for car hauling software. I find Gopher. Can I? Is there somewhere I can go to download and try out your out-of-the-box solution? Um, it's not necessarily an out-of-box solution right. because it is software as a service. Okay, so, so you're more of a customization shop where you're you're working with companies to make sure that I mean there's a con there's a connection there. You're making sure yeah. that you're right that it's exactly connection. and you know ninety nine percent of it's always there for most companies, but you always have a company that says, hey, it'd be really nice if it could do this one thing. And sometimes it's small, sometimes it's big. The bigger projects, they take longer, but the small things, it's like, oh, okay, well, here you go. Just like we released a feature earlier this week, well, yesterday, actually, for a client. And they signed up a week ago, so they're happy. <laughs> and that's, I, I like that in that, I mean, you're really in touch with the customer Absolutely. I mean, yeah, because it, and that's a big part of really any software is that yeah. no matter what we use, I mean, you can get mm -hmm. frustrated with your accounting software. You can get mm -hmm. frustrated with, I mean, there's all, and so you want to be able to be in touch with sales, service, and support to make yeah. sure that your product is working the way you need it to work. And that's what you do. Well, absolutely. And, you know, custom programming and programming in general always comes second to us. Customer service is number one. Yeah, and so and there's an there's a cost associated with that, uh, of course. right? I mean this, and so it's almost like um, those terms like boutique and cottage industry come to mind. I mean you are a you're a hands-on service provider. Exactly. Okay. All right. So you don't get a robot when you call us. <laughs> right, and, and that's cool. So yeah. and now if you okay, let's assume let's say okay we're talking about fleets that need out of the box or custom solutions and within fi finished vehicle logistics, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell us more about finished vehicle logistics. Okay, so finished vehicle logistics, typically when you are approaching a manufacturer, they're gonna say, well, what do you use? Can we do EDI with them? Can we electronically give you your cars 
And then when you move them, we automatically get notified of those movements, automatically get invoiced of those movements. And then we can basically track everything from womb to tomb for the um, manufacturer. So when you're talking about finished vehicle logistics, the backbone of it is EDI. Okay. And so that's the thing is that, and by the way, I had some questions of sound. Is the sound okay? Oh, I lost. Okay. I'm, I'm told that we lost some audio. But maybe, okay. I think that was, is that an old message? Lost audio, that was 849. I think the audio is back. The audio, are we are we okay on audio? No. Are we good here? I'm gone. Check, check. I have, I've got to go. Check, check. And by the way, let me, while we're doing this audio check, um, uh, we got a, um, we got a super chat from Candy at Seaport Service. And I really appreciate that, Candy. Um, it means a lot. It, that really helps the channel. Um, now, I mean, I'm seeing... Okay, we're good on sound. Okay. I think it was okay. just very... I think it was when I switched over before I brought you on that I had the audio. Oh, yeah. Out. Okay, the audio is great. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. It means a lot. <laughs> Definitely. Like, I would be like, okay, we got to do it all over. Okay, so the question is, is that... Um, oh, Tater Chip is with us. What's up? Um, the question is, okay, if you're a new car hauler, is finished vehicle logistics different from used car hauling? Well, yes, it depends on the manufacturer. It's not a one size fits all when you're talking about finished vehicle logistics because different manufacturers have different requirements. Um, my core competency is the finished vehicle side. Right. So uh, when it comes to POV movements, we have many carriers that do POV with us. Um, and it's a lot more um, simple in the sense that you don't have to do what uh, they're called AIAG codes. Right. It's a standard code okay. where you have this five letter or five number code that you have to give the manufacturer when there's damage versus saying, hey, there's damage right here and there and there on the car and tapping on your screen or your, if you're still on pen and paper on the um, BOL. So when it comes to damage claims, absolutely. And when it comes to um, volume and um, so your flow of basically, hey, come get these cars. You know, you don't have to use load boards. You get cars assigned to you automatically. So when they're ready, come get them. I want to say this. Thank you, Epic, for the super chat. I really appreciate that. You're going to see me. I'll tell you, it means a lot to me when I get a super chat. So I want to call attention to it right now. And to get your money's worth, what I want to do is you just said, Niles, you just said several terms. And I like to make sure everybody knows yeah. what the terms are. Yeah. All right. Definitely. So let's go through them. So first... Uh, you did, you said POV. We're talking personally owned vehicles, mm -hmm. like residential moves, right? Yeah. Whereas a dealership and an auction, those are not POVs yeah. usually. Although a dealership to a person is that a POV? A deal dealer to resident? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes. Okay. And uh, auction, like an uh, auction to dealer, that's a POV. Okay. Um, because mm. they're when I talk about finished vehicle logistics, this is brand new cars, whether they're imported into the country or whether they're, you pick them at the manufacturing plant. Okay, and that's where AIAG, is that right? Mm -hmm. Comes yes. in. Okay, those are codes. That's a higher level of inspection where a new car, you have to have a lot higher level of standard of inspection, and AIAG is the name of that level of standard. Is that right? Correct. Okay, and so instead of just going scratch, dent, chip, you yeah. are you're marking down specific codes that relate to specific damages on specific parts of the car. Exactly. And that means... What is it? Where is it? And how bad? And that means, right, because there's a level. If there's a dent, oh, is it a one or a two or a three or a four? Yep. Okay. Exactly. And, and that information is critical to the maker, or mm -hmm. right? Whether yeah. or not you're actually going to move that car. Because if it... Yeah. Right? Okay, and so that and so that's where finished vehicle logistics, that's an area where it seems that finished vehicle logistics goes beyond just normal used car hauling. So if if I, I wonder this, when, I'll tell you what, honestly, when I booked loads on Central Dispatch, and I before I knew anything about AIAG and finished vehicle logistics, I'm booking a brand new truck and we're given a little we're given a sheet with extra damage codes and whatnot. And this is a used car hauler that really isn't used to this information. And I'm wondering, what, what are we, we going to use this? 
What's going to happen if this isn't done right? Who's that going to fall on? The broker that hired that car hauler? Guess as good as mine. <laughs> and, and meanwhile, the rate, I, I'll tell you, that's why I don't, book, I don't book new vehicles anymore that pay the same amount as a used vehicle. Like, whoa, okay? Yeah. Why would you haul a 2019 Honda Odyssey when you can get a 2004 Chevy Cruze? Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. So, but anyways, this information, and by the way, Matt was kind enough. He also threw in a super chat. Thank you so much, Matt. It means so much to me and the channel. It really does. Especially because I'm, I'm prepping for Matt's, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I need to get that. Oh, I need to get that. The list keeps growing. Um, so, um, anyways. All right, so, all right, so we got, you've got a customizable auto carrier software product for uh, companies that want to work direct and maybe specialize in finished vehicle logistics. Mm -hmm. Is that about right? Is that is that about the description? Yeah, that, that's just about it, but I don't want to discount people that do POV moves okay. because it does accommodate them okay. as well as, PO, uh, as OEM movements because the OEMs is just the automation of getting information into the system and basically getting it um, put through your billing process faster whereas the pov you can get you know it's just as easy if you have a spreadsheet of bins paste them in create your customer profiles and off they go so, so both part and so there we go so now we start talking about process part of the benefit of using gopher auto carrier software is and, and we could we could just say gopher i could say gopher i could call it an epod i put epod mm -hmm. on the screen what's epod electronic proof of delivery so it's delivered here's the final say in fact you okay you were telling me that it was funny to you on my last show i put up a picture tell me what happened oh uh <laughs> wait what was the picture of it, it was, oh yeah it was your amazon picture yeah where uh they took a picture of your box at your uh, doorstep because it got delivered there well we do that but for cars and you said i don't know of any software that does this and Hey, <laughs> yeah, we do that. That's awesome. So when a car is delivered, mm -hmm. you, your system makes sure an email gets sent to what? The delivery customer, the broker? Whoever, yeah. you, want. Whoever you want. So you have your pickup location, your delivery location, and who's paying for it. Um, so if any of their, every customer profile has a notification base. And you say when you want them to get notified of an event, whether it be picked up, delivered, anything that we have set out already. So if they're in the delivery field on their customer profile, gets delivered, here's a link, here's your tracking information. Okay, so let's, that's all, man, it, it, I'll tell you what, and that's the thing is, the more I hear you talk, the more I understand that there is a lot of detail. One, we know there's a lot of detail throughout the life cycle of, a, of, a, of the move of a car. And yes. your software helps make sure that everybody involved in the process gets their part on mm -hmm. time in detail yeah so like, exactly i mean you can so your your software you've got the mobile app mm -hmm. and you've got a dashboard yes okay and, and a tracking website and a track okay and a tracking yes. website yeah that's the tracking website is where um when the events happen uh like picked up or delivered that's where they go and i believe i sent you a screenshot of it where Basically, here's all the bins on there. Here's all your information to pick up, delivery. Here's every single status from the beginning of that order getting put in, from BOL entry to delivered, and all the pictures as well. And if it has not been delivered, you have the option for them to click a GPS location to find out where exactly it is. We skew it so it's not exact, so don't freak out. <laughs> we skew it, but it's a general idea. Wow. Okay, so... All right, so from the beginning of the life cycle, if I get a load or if the driver wants to create a load, those things could both happen, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and I can assign loads and I can, uh, now and you, are we talking about, is this designed for the single owner operator or are we talking for fleets? Okay, so we have clients that range from three to 75 trucks. So the three guys, they're mainly doing DOVs. They don't have OEM contracts, but 
uh, it works for both. The owner operator, I don't think that that's necessarily a fit because the owner operators, from my experience, don't get in front of a computer to create an order to dispatch it to themselves. Yeah, I agree. They don't really, what owner operators tend to do, my understanding is that it's a, if they're booking off central or if they know, let's say they know the person they're picking up for, they just somehow create a load and it doesn't go through all the parts. Whereas you have a dispatcher in multiple trucks, it's a yeah. different part okay. process. You can use our system without a dispatcher, but it's not designed for that. Okay. So yours is more designed for uh, a business with several trucks, yes. right? And a dispatcher. That's how you truly get the benefit out of all the bells and whistles of your of Gopher. Right. right, exactly. And what I found with carriers that sign with us that are small, as they start to grow, they realize, wow, okay, this scales with my company. And that's our main mission there because we, you can be enterprise or you can be a small mom and pop that wants to start growing. And you start using us and then boom, you can because it scales. And now as the dispatch manager or co-owner, when you're dealing with the headaches of, okay, I just got another order. I need to put it, I need to make sure, okay, I want the driver to pick up these two. I want this driver to pick up these three. Your software helps the dispatch manager easier, ease, more easily manage the chaos in real time, exactly. right? Yes, it, um, a term of phrase that I use is transparency of information. So you can look and log in and know what's going on in your company awesome. from narrow it down to driver bob to whoever else and you know what's going on which includes the ability like highly customizable search making yes. lots of notes mm -hmm. so on those notes okay. um we have a system that we coined pro notes and that is every single event to happen to a bol or bin in your system, from the moment you put it in, you have a record of who did what at any given time. So if someone calls and says, hey, what happened to this? You can pull those up and go, uh, I need to make some phone calls because someone's not doing their job or someone messed up. Right. So it's a record. We call It's, it's essentially a medical record of BOLs and bins in your system. Awesome. And so, and then if, let's say that, let's say the owner said, you know what, I really like all this, but there's a feature here that I don't, you know, I, I need this feature. Mm -hmm. you, you, then you get on the phone with your team and I mean, you get to work. on. Well, uh, actually there's some steps before that. I never just take a feature request and start putting into development. What I'll do is I'll work with the person requesting that feature request and do a full systems analysis mm -hmm. of it. That way I know exactly what you want. I'll repeat it back to you five times until we are on 100% the same page. And then once I'm confident that, yep, this is what they're looking for, then I present it to the team and then I can get some time frames on things. Oh, okay, right on. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, like, you know, don't just send the team scrambling. Let's make yeah, sure, yeah. right? We don't work in a void. Right, right. <laughs> and that's where there's a lot of communication. I mean, that you need to, yeah. that's a lot of communication. Is that how you spend a lot of your time, like working with customers? Yes, I do. It's, I'm a man of many hats. Yeah, <laughs> no, and I mean, and that's busy. When you've got yes. customers that know they can contact you anytime, that's that, that make, it's really yeah. busy. And then you you need your own software to manage all the things going on in your system. Okay, that's yeah. true. Um, I got, okay, here's a question. Is right. this something that would need to be set up for each broker we deal with, or is it more universal? Um, so it depends because this is mainly tailored to fleets right um, sub hauling it can do that and each broker would need to be set up um but it's meant for um when you have your own in-house so it doesn't it doesn't mean you can't do it but it's not tailored for um sub hauling it's and i think one of the things we talked about um because i was i was asking you questions mm -hmm. um and that is that if you were let's say you're a dispatcher this is something that i i've never seen but I've heard it requested. I think it was, I can't remember. Um, but on one of my shows, a dispatcher was talking about something that would allow a dispatcher to manage their drivers in segments of a software. 
It's the dispatcher. So here you are. You yeah. are. Let's say currently you have a customer. They are a dispatch, they're an owner or dispatcher, and they're managing trucks and loads. Yeah. That you can do. But what if you were an independent dispatcher working with several trucking companies? It's a, you would need a different version of, it's a strange, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like the dispatcher's version of the, mm -hmm. of the dispatch dashboard. It's an interesting concept, which yeah, is, yeah. which, and I think well, that's all what, those uh, companies that you're working with just need to use our software. All right, exactly. There you go. Give you a well, login and you can do all, whatever you need to. Well, <laughs> hey, and now, now there's a question for you. What do you, how, how do you interact with other car hauling software that might be used with other drivers? Can you ingest that into your system and then outgest it or I don't know? We have tried, but the majority of those other, um, software providers, uh, like uh, United Road, um, you can't get into their app. There's no API there. It just doesn't allow for that. So we've tried uh, multiple different other providers and it's everyone's in their own bubble, just like we're in our own bubble. But um, with that being said, that's where the um, EDI facet comes in. If anyone does open it up, we can do it. Right. And that's, and that's the thing is that because of the um, EDI that you already implement with uh, new car manufacturers to make sure you're on par with all the standards that mm -hmm. new car and finished vehicle logistics requires, you are also very attentive to can we configure to integrate with another system? Oh, absolutely. Whenever someone approaches us with like a, hey, we use this, the first thing it, we ask is put me in touch with their IT team. We want to talk to them, see where we can integrate. That's cool. That's, I mean, that's really cool. Um, uh, what we're going to do is, by the way, that's funny, good timing. Ty gave me a super chat. I want to thank Ty. I really, I really appreciate that. Um, because actually, what we're going to do is we're going to move into a panel discussion in a few minutes um, where we're going to open it up. We're going to open this up into a bigger discussion. Um, including industry information as well as car carrier software. But I, before I do that, I want to, let's do this. I'm going to share my screen, okay? And I want to pull up, um, first of all, I mentioned that I would pull this up. Gopher, what does it mean? It means... Yep. So the go is to move on a course and four is to carry your carrier. So when you put them together, it's a software that helps auto carriers go and carry. I, I, it, I find it extremely easy to remember. I like mm -hmm. the logo puts an image in my mind. Um, and I like the explanation of the name. Thank you. I'll have to give a shout out to Isaac on that one. I think yeah. he's in the chat still. Yeah, man. Good job, Good Isaac. That. It's very interesting. <laughs> um, whereas, I mean, I know, so you guys, autocarriersoftware.com. Yes. What? Where do people go to find out more about your product? Uh, either to that or to gopher.com. Um, autocarriersoftware.com links to gopher.com. So either one works. Okay. So we've got, okay, this has got... You gave me, okay, you got your email address, your main main number, there's information on LinkedIn, there's information on Facebook. Let's do this. I'll leave that up there for a second, and then I'm going to pull up your website. So right. you can go to gopher.com, G-O-P-H-O-R-E.com, is that right? Yeah. Or autocarriersoftware.com. Yes, sir. And then um, your, and then your parent company is... Advancing Data Resources, that's the parent company that uh, we started off uh, coming up on, how many years has it been? Coming up on 34 years in April. <laughs> because the history, the history of your company is, getting back into that, is that, is it, what, is your, your father is a programmer, yes. developer? Yes, exactly. Another family and, business. Yeah, we are a family-owned business. Yeah, okay, so he's been... He's been, what, writing code, developing for, 
I mean, yeah. So um, as long as you we originally uh, started working for Forward Data, which if you're familiar with uh, ADP, it's like a payroll service. Uh huh. But Forward Data was specifically in the freight industry. That's where he first started working, and then the owner just kicked the bucket one day, and um, one of the clients of Forward Data was uh, Spectrum Logistics, and uh, they hired my dad on, and my dad started coding in the freight industry, and lo and behold, just moved on and started his own software company, and it's grown into what it is today. That's awesome. And so, I mean, what's the, the we're talking, I mean, you. so if you add up the, the years of experience your dad has in developing software, mm-hmm. and you, then you look at where you're at today, that's pretty neat. I mean, you, yeah. you're, it's, this is not a this is not a startup or a new idea. No, no, we're and we're not a fly by night company. We're here to right, stay. Right, and that's actually is that one of the reasons why I guess in a marketing strategy, um, your it seems like you're just kind of hanging back, helping individual fleets that are looking for a truly customized solution. Mm-hmm. And um, but what's next for you guys? I mean, what, what so what what are you planning to do? Well, uh, we're going to be starting a marketing campaign this year. And really, now we're at that point where it's like, you know, when we say customizable software, yeah, it's customizable. But out of the box, it's going to accommodate the majority of people that decide to go with us. So really, it's just a matter of onboarding and continuing to excel at customer service and develop. Uh, Eventually, down the road, long, long road, uh, we would love to do a uh, brokerage module and or a uh, load board. Right. And that makes sense. And that's, you know what, that's a common theme that I think we're going to hear in the coming weeks as I talk to uh, more folks that are in the car hauling software space is that right. there is, there's really a lot of software to develop. And mm-hmm. um, Stephen Colbert shows up as a recommended. <laughs> um, that's well, it. It's, so- on that note, that's another thing that I really want to point out too okay. is that we are so monofocused on auto hauling software on this um, software package that it's going to continue growing and getting better from where it is. We're not stagnating; we're releasing new features every week. So, really, that uh, that stuff I mentioned that is down the road that's because awesome. we want to make this the best in the industry, bar none. That's awesome. Um, let's see. I mean, I know when you, like when you say load board, I mean, I know that's a big one, but I just, I want to bring this up. I just saw on that video, it mentioned QuickBooks. How, how are you doing? How are you doing with QuickBooks? Okay. So QuickBooks, we work with uh, QuickBooks desktop and online. And it's basically once you get set up with it, you can push invoices in there. So you don't have to create invoices and do double entry in QuickBooks anymore. You create the orders in our system. And you can have it go off when it's delivered or when you click a button. We actually have a dashboard that you can manage all of your open orders that have not been invoiced yet. Uh, it, there's multiple ways to approach getting information over. Okay, yeah. And if you have a big old customer base in QuickBooks, we can pull all of them. Again, them. as a fleet, <laughs> that seems like making sure that you're updating QuickBooks as you're updating your load information and you're delivering and you're billing that that's a big point of like if, especially if you're talking to somebody that works in accounting that's all they want to talk about oh yeah i've made really good friends in accounting because of how much easier this made their life <laughs> that's awesome so you have accountants that would actually say we like it no oh, they say we love it wow that's a big deal that is a yeah. that's a really big deal yeah i agree um and then let's see we're also we're going to look at some screenshots uh, but you've got, you talked about, you've got easy tracking, you've got the pro notes, you've got, do you have reports? Oh, yes, we do have a plethora of reports. And if we don't have it, go into systems analysis and figure out what you need. If the data is in the system, we can get it out. So let's go ahead. I chose, um, that's my background screenshot, but let's do this. Um, okay, let's look at some screenshots here okay so we've got okay here's my first one so what am i looking at here what is this okay so these are some of the options for um, some of the manufacturers that we integrate with some of them um, use uh, like icl billing that they are a auditing house for multiple different manufacturers 
um, such as uh, Mercedes-Benz, Porsche, Volkswagen, Audi, uh, Toyota. Um, they do that. So in that one dashboard, you can see all of your bins, all of your monies. What's the status of them? Have I been paid yet? Right. This, is, then, this is just a window within a much larger picture. But Right. And, but with your, I mean, with your focus on this level of finished vehicle logistics, again, I mean, you know that let's say you wanted to start today in finished vehicle logistics. What are you, what are you looking at? What kind of learning curve are you looking at? Um, well, if you're already in the industry, already moving cars and you have a, a moderate size fleet where when you approach a manufacturer, uh, basically once you get that uh, contract, if we are already set up with them, the setup is so easy because all the programming is done. We just get in touch with their IT contacts, which we already have relationships with, and say, hey, uh, Carrier ABC got set up. Let's get them hooked into our system. And then the data starts coming in. Okay. Okay. So, so from sign up to onboarding to training, you know, you're talking like a week or two, uh, depending on the level of, uh, you know, commitment that right. they have to really jump in and learn. All right. Here we go. So now here's a, here's a full screen. Wow. Yes. So what am I looking at here? So this is a BOL dashboard. So this is everything that you have, uh, what we call on hand. So you have orders that are on hand and orders that are in history. What it means to be in history is I'm done with this. I don't want to see it anymore. It's been paid, get it off. It's been delivered, it's done. This is everything that's on hand that you're still working. It's a working pool of orders. So you can see like the very top one, order 431 doesn't have a pickup date, doesn't have a deli delivery date, whereas the ones underneath it, they have delivery dates. Why are they still in there? Have we invoiced them? Have we gotten paid? What's going on? Right. So here we are, whether you're a dispatch manager, owner, by the way, did you say you have different profiles based on your role in the company? Like, uh, yeah, so um, you have different roles. So different, uh, basically all the screens that you see across the top, like dashboard, daily work, reports, settings, quotes, um, you can basically customize, okay, this is a customer service person, so they only can see the dashboards. So they can pull up all the information and see what's going on, but they can't go in and edit orders. You don't want to do that. Or you have people that are accountants. All they do is come into here to bill, and all they see is the billing screens. Cool, cool. So I've got, and i got a lot of, I mean, I've got, I've got several orders that I can see. And then I can, I mean, I can, I can click on one of these tabs and go to a different part of your system. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to consume. There's a lot of, there's yeah. a lot of information on one screen. It looks like there's a lot. I have, there, I have a lot of possibilities of what to do next. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I always recommend a, a demo because when we do that, we really can dive deep and show you from beginning to end how the system works. This screen here is just more of an informational screen where you can pop into it and see what's going on. What? So let's say right now somebody says, oh my gosh, I've got to see more of this. What are they going to do? Uh, they'll reach out. Uh, what's, what's your email address? My contact in, uh, Niles at autocarriersoftware.com. Are you asking me or them? <laughs> yeah, I'm asking you. I'm asking anybody because i tell you what, you know what I know is that right now we're live. We're doing the show live, but some people are going to watch this on demand. Some people right. are just going to skip to this part and be like, okay, I've seen enough. I want to contact this guy. And so I just put Niles at autocarriersoftware.com in the live chat. Perfect. Yeah, feel free to email me, and uh, we'll open the forum and go from there. Cool. All right, so let's do this. Let's go to another screenshot. Um, okay, here's another, I guess, part of your dashboard. So what are we looking at here? So this right here is where you're going to be doing, you know, 95% of your work. This is where you create orders, where you sign them to uh, drivers, uh, create your trips, and basically can search for any information that's in your system. Uh, on the left-hand side, you can see that uh, there's underneath load manager, OEM bins, other bins, loads, and trips. OEM bins, that first tab, is all the bins that have been assigned to you by a manufacturer. They just pop in there. You can drag and drop them onto an order and all the information pick, um, fills out. Pickup location, delivery location, who's paying for it, the VINs, and the rates. So you just drag them on and the order's done. You create it and now you can dispatch it. Other VINs, that's where you import VINs into the system. Now on the tab that we're on is loads. 
This is all the loads that you have on hand on the left hand bar of it. Uh, you see those color statuses. Yeah. Those oh. correlate with that blue line in oh. the middle above them. Cool. The legend. Cool. So ready. It hasn't been dispatched yet. Purple is it's been dispatched. Green has been picked up. Blue has been delivered. Red it's canceled. And you get a count next to each one of those two, so you can see what's going on. Cool. I like that scroll bar in the middle because I can. I can stay on the screen, but I can scroll up and down and see my loads. Right. And we're on the, I believe it's the right side of the screen. Yeah. Yeah, the right side. I'm trying to think if it's twisted. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the right side, that's the actual order entry. Yeah. That's where you're going to be creating your orders, creating your trips um, to dispatch. And I can fill in these fields here. And, uh, boy, look at all the buttons. Toggle, new order, new trip, order search, customer entry. This is yep. cool, man. This is a, there's a lot. There's a lot here. It yeah. takes a while to, to uh, and then you've got, I guess, larger sections like brokerage quotes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So uh, one thing I want to point out, uh, I don't know if it correlates with your question earlier where you can have one person managing different driver sections. Um, yeah. But to the right of that legend key, there's that drop down that's called pool and it says main next to it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So um, in that, you can segment our system into different dispatching pools. Mm. So for instance, if you want to do, I only want orders that are going from southwest to no northeast of the country. I'm going to create a pool for it. And now I only create orders in there. And then you can go over to, okay, I'm only doing Mannheim, Dallas. I only want to do Mannheim, Dallas orders in this pool. And so they don't commingle over each other. You can segment your, what you see and what you are working on uh, within our system. Do you think you could have pools based on what carrier you're working with? Absolutely. You just need to set them up. So that kind of answers Richard's question. Yeah. Richard might want to reach out to you. Here's another question. Uh, Truckify asks, does go for import all BOLs like Ready Auto, Metro, United Road, Cars Arrive, Hall Match, RPM, Reindeer, etc., like Truckify.com does? Uh, not currently. We do um, one dispatch to central dispatch. Basically, there's just a process. We just need an order, and then we can create it to where it uh, can import. Okay. That's interesting. That's a good question. Uh, let's see here. I wanted to um, – there's a lot to consume here, so I wanted to move on to – I was looking at the time. Let's go to another screenshot. All right. Um, okay. Wow. So this is – if I click reports, this is all my options? Yeah, you get a plethora of reports, uh, whether it's driver wow. settlement or you need an export of bins that haven't been paid yet. Wow. That's a lot of options. And then you can see, like, at the, the, at the very bottom, you know, top build customers, you know, who. So, right, can you customize reports? Can I, can I, can, I don't know. I'm in, Accountants come up with all kinds of stuff they want to see, right? Trends exactly. and trucks and lanes yep. and. Yeah, you just contact us, and yeah. we'll work with you. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to another one. Uh, okay, customer entry. Yeah, that's another one. Building a customer database with all the information you need per customer. Then, you know, right. Don't, don't talk to Sally, and uh, always say hello to Mark. Can I put that and stuff in here? Yeah, absolutely. So um, on the first page that we're on, the addresses tab is highlighted. And uh, the thing I was highlighting on here was the location. We use a Google API. It's where you just start typing an address, and it'll start giving you results. You click one of those, and it inputs it. But as far as your question, um, on the notes tab and the dispatcher notes, yeah. the notes tab will show throughout the system. They'll show on the driver app. They'll show wherever you need them to. And then you can put notes in the dispatcher section. That's only for the dispatcher, and you can also flag that customer. So if you select them on order entry, it goes, hey, this customer owes you $20,000, or hey, this customer we don't do business with anymore. Right. And you can flag customers to reach out. You, oh, you can flag customers in, I don't know, yes. what colors or whatever? Uh, yeah. That is pretty cool. This, okay, I like this. This is cool. Um, oh, okay, and here's, oh, wow. Look at all those options of notifications. Yeah, so these are the my step of the way. Yeah, so from the top down, when an order is created, when it's dispatched, when it's picked up, when it's delivered, if there's damages, the final EPOD PDF, uh, invoice on delivery, wow. invoice when you send it to your accounting software, 
if you give it an estimated pickup delay, if you give it an estimated delivery date, and if you change that estimated pickup or delivery date, it'll send. So wherever you want them to get an email update status, this is where you would put it in. That's a heck of a list. Yeah. That's kind of every, it's like every moment in the life cycle. Correct. And then some. Like, if, so what, if I mark damages, somebody gets an email? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, once you uh, pick Ooh, it up for delivery, if you mark man. it up, you can have them go, hey, we found damages on but this deal. I'm not even done strapping it down and they're like, dude, what's up? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. That's and that's why you're laughing about my picture, right? Because you've got more than just a picture when it's well. Okay, so they get an email, and then in the email, it's got program to give pictures and. Well, in the email, what it's going to have is going to have like a gist, like a general idea of like, hey, hey, your movement from here to there on order X Y Z, we found damages. Click this button to get more information. Okay. And that will take them to the My Easy Track link. Right. Let's get there. Okay. So that's, oh, there it is. My Easy Track. Awesome. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So when they yeah. get that email, the link is going to take them to their order just like this. And on here, if it has not been deli delivered yet, uh, if it's not been delivered yet and you have the option turned on, right underneath that photo of that car, there would be a click to track button right. and they can click that and that's where they can see the driver with a skewed you know general idea on a google map okay but, there's there's your item there's your itemized status updates yes and those are customizable um every status update has a status code and we can control and you can tell us which ones you do and don't want to show so if you're like hey you know the fourth or the third from the bottom email sent denials at Gmail. Uh, yeah, don't show those notifications turned off. Wow. Wow. And I like there's the picture of the car. I like this. This is a nice looking document. And this is this is on. OK, so my easy Is that another part of your software? Yes, that's uh, our software. Wow. And um, where it says your logo, that would be your logo. So when the clients click on the icon, they'll see that it's your company dishing this up. Wow. This is cool, man. Very cool. I like this. Um, let's see. And you've got, okay. Oh, and I, here's another screen. This is similar to the other one, but what's different? Oh, is it, it says trip. Is this a... Uh, yeah, so this is the trip builder. Um, so instead of the BOL builder, you have this. This is where you're going to put your orders on, and you'll see the pickup location, all the bins contained, delivery location with all the bins contained, and you can reorder this however you need and it doesn't show it on this screen but there's a, a route button that when you click it it will take your first stop your last stop and find out what's in between them and go do you want me to optimize this and route it in the shortest possible path then you can accept it'll give you the mileage and then from there you can choose you can look at it and go okay that's not going to work or go all right that worked out great save and then your um, driver's dispatch. This is where, in the chaos, you 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 know you try to okay. If this is where I, I think like a, a fleet owner or dispatcher would like to freeze time, and get everything organized, but they can't. Exactly. Time keeps marching. Somebody else adds another car. Somebody takes away a car. Uh, the phone rings and another big order comes in. And this is where you can electronically, rather than having to put a bunch of max matchbox cars on your desk so you can see it. This exactly. is how you can do it electronically, right? Exactly. And on here too, what's cool is if uh, the client calls and says, hey, I need you to remove uh, VIN 123 off of order, uh, what's the top one, 428. So remove VIN 1 off of there. When you do it on the order, it'll update this automatically. So you don't have to come back and figure out what I need to remove. You just do it on the order and it flows through. Huh. Oh, yeah. And then, so if that happens, now I've got a hole because I lost a VIN. Does mm -hmm. it also help me make sure that I know I, I've got an empty spot and I can take another car? Uh, we actually have a report in the works for that. Awesome. Um, to prevent deadhead. Okay. Awesome. Man, this is, okay, wow. Um, uh, what do we got here? What is this? 
Oh, um, so at the very top of the screen, like if you go back one, you'll see the very top center. Okay. Oh, um, uh, if I go back, okay, go yeah, back, back one. one. So okay. see the very top center of that, there's those four boxes. So this is kind of like a zoom in on those boxes in the very first one. Um, so if the very first one is that little magnifying glass and in there oh, it's uh -huh. a universal search. So you can just start typing a van oh. of or a trip. So if a client calls and just gives you the last six, it's going to start giving you results of, hey, here's all the VINs I found that match that. Here's all the BOLs I found that match that and all the trips that match that. I, and it's just I, like a quick. I like right. that. Listen, we all know when we're stressed, we want to find stuff fast. Right. That's what you're pointing out here. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like exactly. all I know is 103. I don't know what is it. It's 103. People are yelling at each other, and meanwhile, somebody just is like 103. Yay! Yep. Like there it is. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool, man. I like that. Yep. Um, and I think that's the last slide. Okay. All right. Cool. So uh, just to cool. go on with those other uh, icons. Uh, the question mark is our help system. Okay. We have nearly 200 documents that you can search and look at all different facets of our system. Oh. Just if you want to learn on your own and you're like, hey, how do I add a driver? You can just start typing add a driver and you'll find a um, result page with a quick, this is how you do it, and an in depth with photos and arrows and circles. Click these buttons and this is how you can do what you want to achieve. That's cool. Okay, right. So, like, uh, like an extended FAQ where you can just help yourself. Yeah, a very extended FAQ. Okay. okay, that's good. That's actually really helpful. What? So what do these other two do? Like um, the drop pin one. Yeah. That is uh, to where you can click that and it'll show you where all your drivers are on a map. Oh wow! So it just pulls them up and it'll tell you the last time that they reported their location, which it, the app will do automatically, and then. Uh, basically just show you where all your drivers are and that's exact locations and then the exclamation point that's an alert system so for instance if you have a uh, equipment registration coming up and expiring in two weeks that will start dancing essentially on the top of your screen saying click me when you click it it'll give you the alert and mm -hmm. then you can take action on it from there now and it, that that alerts you just meant that's the question mark uh no, no that's, that's, exclamation oh, that's point. still the okay with the little red dash next or thing next so to it if you've got something if you so so your system also you can enter is that you're saying you can enter truck information and it helps you manage which yes. is another fleet that's a big when when it comes to fleets that's another big thing is keeping track of the trucks when they need to get maintained i mean it's a big part of running a fleet Exactly. And this will, once it, you know, you tell us basically, Hey, you know, a month out, tell me next maintenance is coming up or a registration and that can come up and start saying you need to take action on this. Interesting. That's awesome, man. Okay. Well, this is uh, wow. This is great information. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see here. Let's stop the share. We're going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to run another ad. We're going to hear from legal shield. Um, they have a CDL program, and we're going to hear more about that. And while that's happening, I'm going to get uh, Ty and Candy in here so we can keep talking about auto carrier software and the car hauling industry, okay? So stick with me, okay? We will be right back.